Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the new update for Bloodstrike that literally just dropped. There's a lot of new things so let's hop into the video, let's see what's new and let's see what we can expect in the upcoming days. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are. We are going to be reading the patch notes. Now, before I read the whole page, I do want to show an image that I did see on screen when you open up the game. And this is a skin. I don't know what it's for. I'm going to assume it's for the foul, but it could be anything else. Who knows? But anyway, let's hop into the patch notes. Let's see what is new. So first things first, of course, we have the new weapon that is coming out. It's called the Fal Weapon. Now, this is an assault rifle that is coming out with the new striker pass on the 15th of September. This is a weapon that you will unlock for free once you hit level 10 in the striker pass. So all you need to do is play the game get to level 10 and then you will have this weapon available to you it's a powerful combat rifle with a slow fire rate but it does serious serious damage it's the right hand of the free world all you have to do is reach level 10 on the striker pass and you'll be able to play with this gun we have new skydive trails you will see an image on screen um check out the new colorful skydive trails grab them for free in the upcoming battle royale season 7 and give them a try on shutter island so something very very interesting happened they actually encourage people people to use third person perspective and they've added these dive trails as ranked rewards so those are free and you will be able to grab them and i do think this is a very very interesting idea a lot of other games already have this as well you can think about fortnite that has sky dive trails but also apex legends so it is only logical for Bloodstrike to also have this in their game. We have a new visual style there's a new lobby interface and they've made some upgrades so let's have a look at that They have also upgraded the matchmaking and behavior score. So for all of the people that are quitting during hot zones, squad fights, or battle royale, they will get punished more and it will actually impact your account significantly. Anyway, we're going to move on. There is a brand new striker pass called Golden Dunes. Now, this is going to be available on September 15th. So in the striker pass, we have a brand new legendary skin for Ethan called Gilded. Under community terms, this is called the Pharaoh Ethan skin. This is a very, very nice looking skin. Very, very fancy. I really, really like this team. And on top of that, we also have a brand new skin for the Foul Weapon and the AOG. This is the same weapon skin. It's called the Lapis Lazuli. It's a blue kind of team skin and we did get a teaser for it so here's an image on screen and as the ultimate reward on top of this battle pass if you max it out completely we will have the ultra vector skin also called gilded now this is an ultra skin so that basically means that this is gonna have some kind of like special iron side it is gonna have special effects so when that does come out i will showcase this skin to you guys and of course i'll hook you guys up with the best vector loadout now up next you guys will be very very happy we have some special events coming your way First up, we have a voucher giveaway. You can complete missions between September 13th and September 20th to receive the Boitata Stash voucher. So these are vouchers that you are going to get for free. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And then secondly, we also have Gold Stash Vouchers event is here. From September 15th through the 22, complete matches to claim permanent Gold Stash vouchers. Now, what are Gold Stash vouchers and what you can do with them? I'm going to explain that when it actually comes to the game because right now it's not in the game it's hard to explain but it looks like it's some kind of system where we're gonna get vouchers and we're gonna be able to try and get legendary skins more on that in just a moment up next we have from september 6th through 14th earth tier protector by completing matches seize your last chance to climb the ladders because after that there's gonna be a brand new rank split for battle royale so are you guys ready to sweat those leaderboards we have to restart again. Up next, we have weekly rewards are on their way. So every weekend in September, you are going to be able to claim some free rewards just by playing the game. So just hop into the game, invite some of your friends and claim your free rewards. It's as easy as that. Up next, we have also the new Firearms Academy. Now, this is not something that is entirely new. They've already put this in the game in the previous patch as well. And for the people that don't know what this is, basically what that means is that you're going to have to do some quests and 
once you complete those quests you'll be able to claim rewards last time around you could claim for example an mcx legendary camo which is not available in the game you could only get this camo by doing the quest so if you are collecting some camos or if you want to get some special looks this is a time to do so up next we have new newbie perks so we have a new newbie bundle explore the battlefield and kickstart your leveling with the newbie bundle which has something suitable for everyone we also have a level pass that comes along with this and with this level pass you can actually get gold but i'm not talking about just gold basically you pay two dollars and the higher level you are, the more gold you'll be able to claim. I think this is just a one-time purchase that you can do on your account, a one-time claim. And basically, you get more reward for your buck. So that is very, very nice. Up next, we have some balancing. So the AR-97 sniper magazine is a bit too powerful in higher tier matches and long-range situations. But the base version of the AR-97 is tough for newbies, so we're making some adjustments. So the adjustments are up on the screen. So basically, what that means is AR-97 has been nerfed because it's been too powerful for too long and the AUG has actually been buffed a little bit so if you try to shoot with the AUG for longer distances you will actually have more damage less damage fall off so that is a very very good update so those are the balance adjustments that we have for the weapon side of things in this patch we also have new arrivals all right now in the login screen we did see a skin and i think this skin might actually be the new m4 twilight skin that comes with the gold stash vouchers that we're gonna get as well so i don't know if this is gonna be a legendary skin an ultra skin but we'll have to wait and see for the time being we have this image and i do think that is gonna be the m4 twilight skin what do you guys think up next we have the new mp5 ultra stash that is literally arriving today in the asia service it is gonna look absolutely amazing i mean just look at this thing we have an image up on the screen if you're interested in that and um yeah man it is coming it looks amazing I'm very curious to see what this skin is gonna look like what kind of effects it's gonna have what kind of iron sights because it is an ultra skin and talking about ultra skins we also have a brand new ultra striker skin coming next week and it's for emma emma is gonna get a new ultra skin it's called the hexa skin shining bright on the stage ready to take the stage on september 20th so that is next week next week we're gonna get an emma ultra skin it's gonna look absolutely amazing so let's go i'm very very hyped for that and another striker skin that is coming very very soon is the volt tycoon skin coming on september 23rd now, last but not least, we also have a brand new super sale. So for the people that are looking to steal some skins for the very little price, uh, we have the CAG 6 super sale coming to us in the game on September 16th. Very happy to see that we are moving away from the IMP9 skins and the M4 skins, and we're actually going to get a CAG 6 super sale. Very, very excited to see what that skin looks like. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to check that out when that comes. So we also have some system optimizations. We have added an option to automatically switch to third person view when parachuting. So that is in the settings now. We have enhanced the sound notification when enemies are parachuting and we've added the parachute icon for teammates when they are in the air on the status bar, which is very, very good. We've optimized how weapons are switched when picking up from airdrops. We fixed the issue where some red dots were too large on certain scopes. And I'm very, very happy to see that they're actually uh, fixing the scopes because there has been a lot of issues, unfortunately, with scopes. Sometimes they get blurry. Sometimes the red dots are not centered correctly. So very good to see that they're actually fixing these issues you can now also select the share and emote features directly from the chat box and we have also adjusted the system tutorial display for new players now we also have a lot of pc optimizations which is very very good to see we've enhanced mouse interaction visuals on the main screen with hover effects we've added key props for quick swapping between meds and throwables which is very nice we've optimized the way you can quickly switch between meds and throwables as well and we've added shortcut options for bandage and we've also added a shortcut option for grenades so basically what that means is that all of those like annoying buttons that we used to have you had to like hold it and then switch for a med or switch for a trouble that is gone you can actually directly adjust your key shortcut keys for your troubles and meds and that is a huge huge w for pc players because sometimes 
that stuff could really mess you up. They've also done some bug fixes. So they fixed the issue where Volt's passive skill caused a dip in frame rate. And they've also optimized map loading logic on Shutter Island for certain devices, improving the performance. And they've also fixed a collision issue in Shutter Island Prison. So very, very happy to see that they are working on improving the performance issues. So I know a lot of you guys have been saying in my comment section, Lights, can you please tell the developers to optimize the game better? Trust me, guys, I do give feedback where I can and and we are getting optimizations but I do think it takes time but you know patch after patch they are optimizing step by step the game more and more so hopefully it will run a little bit smoother for you guys as well anyway that is all that we have today I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't worry we'll be covering everything that is new in the upcoming days the striker pass the new skins also we're gonna test these new settings so maybe I'll make a setting video very very soon as well so you guys can uh, have a look on how to run your game in the best way possible so yeah that is everything we have today make sure you smash that like button and of course hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop I'll see you guys next time take care Bye-bye.